Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we did our grocery haul at Aldi's and we went to Dollar Tree. So let me show you all that I've gotten. If you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. So we got green scallions, onions to go with our twice-baked potatoes we're going to make and some cheddar cheese because we're running um, very, very low on that. So I bought another package. White um, mushrooms because I want to make that pasta I made the other day for dinner. Um, it came out delicious. It was kind of like a, um, basically a Marcel only with the mushrooms, no chicken or anything. So it was delicious. Got to try that again. Bagel pizzas from Aldi because every time I go to Walmart, the bagel bites, they only have the Supreme one which has like all the combination of meats and my son does not care for that. Half a gallon of milk because we already have a half a gallon still left of the whole gallon I had. Some more organic um, half and half because I'm running low because I've been drinking a lot of coffee and beverages. Italian loaf bread, the sliced one. We really love this one. So we got more of this to make some more sandwiches. My son really enjoyed the grilled cheeses on that. Another package of the fudge stripe cookies. They remind me very much of the Keebler ones. So definitely worth getting if you're a Keebler person. These are delicious right up my alley and cheaper. Um, we ended up getting um, a thing of ham. This is about two pounds. Really worth it because we cut this. We take a couple of slices for now and and then we put it away for later for other breakfasts and stuff. Then we have some jumbo hot dogs. Never tried there, so we're going to give them a try. Have some leftover hot dog buns that we need to get rid of, so I thought we'd try their hot dogs to see if we like them. Some more potatoes, a 10-pound bag for our twice-baked potatoes. We got some meats because we wanted to have some different choices for dinner, so we bought some um, center-cut pork chops. We bought two packs because one has three in them, one has four in them, and they're very thin, so I didn't know how many we would eat, so I bought two packs of them. Some more of the thighs because um, my husband wants to make a dinner that we like making a stew or maybe even a sauteed um, in the uh, you know stovetop sa sauteed chicken, so we'll see. Maybe um, he'll get out the uh, cast iron and do that stovetop. I, I really like a stovetop chicken. And then we bought the um, black Angus. Sorry, it's upside down. Just noticed that. Black Angus um, steak because we're going to do that uh, stew again. And then we'll roast. And then we'll use the rest for tacos. This really cooks up very nicely and lasts quite a while. Um, got some stuff from... The dollar store as well, the Dollar Tree for Easter. My son wanted to give these a try, so rather than me buying a big, big bag of them, I bought the individual one for him to try. He loves lollipops, so I bought these for my son plus my um, grandchildren. I want to give them some of these as well. My son really likes these, so I bought the original ones just to have in the house. We don't eat too much candy, but he does enjoy these every now and then. And then I bought myself a fruit pie. I really don't eat these often, but I love Hostess um, apple pie. So I wanted to try that since they had one at the dollar store. Got this for um, when we do travel. We like to carry these in the bag in case my son wants to eat these for breakfast. So I have that on hand for the future when we go for a little trip. We have them. And then I got some candy for the kids. Uh, one, They're not big chocolate lovers, so... I bought one small little bunny for each of them. Again, just to give them something from me. I mean, they don't expect it, but I love to give a little something like tchotchke and a um, candy. So this is some of the candy I'm giving them. My son wanted to try the Supreme Celeste. He seen a, an ad for this on, on his iPad, so he wanted to try it. So we'll try that. I don't, I don't think he's going to like it because he's not a big pepper person, but he said he'll give it a whirl. He wants to open his palate to different types of vegetables. So I am all for eating the peppers. And then we got another pizza. I was making <laughs> this pizza the other day. We had it in our freezer for a while because our oven broke. So we ended up finally putting it in the oven, went to serve it and it fell off my tray that I had the pizza on. It literally went onto the floor so we couldn't eat it. Thank God I had backup frozen pizza from Red Baron in the house um, or other options. I had the um, make it yourself pizzas from Aldi's as well. But got this so that we can give it a try because my husband wanted to try the salami one. And then I back to the Dollar Tree. We got some cotton candy, three little things for the kids. Again, they're not big candy lovers, but this is cute enough. 
and small enough so if they don't love it I didn't waste too much money on it and then I got a card for my goddaughter who just went into the Air Force so proud of her I'm gonna mail her her letter and I want to put it in with this card I may even write it in the card because they had no writing letter letter um like stationary so I just got this for now and I'll buy some stationery when I go to Walmart then I got this for my son it's so cute it says some bunny loves you and then the inside says yep it's me so normally I don't do too many cards but I love I love that one so much I had to get it for him excuse the noise in the background my my dog is playing with one of his toys in the basement then I got these three bags. If you know me, you know I love, love, love butterflies. They signify my mom, my sister, and my brother Michael. It's a big thing for our family. Um, my mom, we say, is the monarch butterfly, and so is Melissa. You know, different colors, blacks, yellows, and stuff like that, and oranges. Whereas my brother Michael always said, you'll know it's me if I'm bothering you because I'm going to come back as the white butterfly. <laughs> So we have a, we laugh at that because it even signified for my mom, her mom. So whenever we see butterflies, they're, they're near and dear to our heart because of family. And then we have the Goya. I got these from the dollar store as well. They were $1.25. I think they're like almost $1.68 or maybe even $2 at Walmart. I have to look it up. I'll put it in the description, but I wanted to make myself some homemade, um, homemade, uh, refried beans and I wanted to try using the canned one it's 340 grams of sodium per serving whereas the already made um, refried beans is almost like 600 milligrams so I wanted to try this and I have some um, fresh beans that I need to boil and cook but I want to try them on this first to see how I like that so for an emergency purposes I can always use can for it, so I want to try that, and then I will also use the bag beans to see how they come out in there, and maybe I'll start making my own because I am not a fan of all that salt in the refried beans that I get. So if there's any low sodium refried beans by Otega or the other one, um, oh, what's the yellow one? Ortega and I think El Paso. If you know of any low sodium, please share it with me or no salt. I'd love to try it. But this is pretty much it. Nothing too crazy because, again, we have a lot of stuff in stock in the house. So I just wanted to do some things we needed to add to dishes we're going to be making and things for the kids to try because my son's friends come over. And these are a great little snack to have in the house as well as some hot dogs because when the kids come over, I like to have things that they quick to eat and don't have to think too much about um, when heating anything up. But that's pretty much it quick and easy haul. Thanks for following. If you haven't already, again, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and see me in all future videos. Share my videos so the world can see them. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. See you real soon.